Hello, my name is Katie Wontock, Agriculture Agent for UW-Madison Division of Extension in Dunn County. Today, we're gonna to be talking about working with your lender. Low commodity prices and increasing debt levels are placing some farmers in serious financial distress. This video series will discuss how you can work with your lender from learning about the six C's of credit that a lender may consider during your loan application to identifying steps to complete your loan application and establish a relationship with your lender. The lender will conduct various searches when underwriting your loan. They will complete a review of your personal credit history and your business history, if applicable. The lender will also review any liens that are placed on your property. A lien is a legal claim or a right against a property allowing a person or organization to take the property or legal action to satisfy debts and obligations that are unpaid. Liens are often part of the public record informing potential creditors and others about existing debts. The Uniform Commercial Code section at the Department of Financial Institutions examines and files documents including statements of business, indebtedness, consignments, terminations, and financing statements and maintains the statewide Uniform Commercial Code lien system. Lenders may access the public records of the Wisconsin Circuit Courts to review court record summaries of all public records under Wisconsin Open Records Law. Though the official judgment and lien docket is located in the office of the Clerk of Circuit Court for each county. Lenders may also contact the local county treasurer's office to inquire if property taxes on real estate have been paid and inquire with the County Register of Deeds Office if there are any outstanding liens on the property. Balance sheet or net worth statement is a snapshot of the farm's financial position at a specific point in time, listing assets, liabilities, and net worth as of a certain date. The owner's equity or net worth of your business is determined by assets equaling liabilities plus net worth or assets minus liabilities equaling net worth. There's no fixed amount or percentage that you must have invested before you are eligible for a loan. However, owner's equity is a cushion for adversity. Some balance sheets use only one valuation method. The accounting world typically uses only the cost value method. Other balance sheets use only the market value method. By having both methods, it is possible to calculate a good estimate of the deferred tax liabilities and it gives further meaning to your net worth. The cost value is the original cost plus improvements minus depreciation that has been taken over time. The market value is a value that you could reasonably sell the assets for on the date of the balance sheet. Current assets have only one value, which is market value. The lender may verify quantities reported, valuations used, ownership versus possession of assets, liens from credit reports, accounts payable balances with other creditors, etc. on your balance sheet. Timing may vary with balance sheets due to peak or low balances, year end versus mid year, time of application, etc. By comparing several balance sheets completed over time, you can identify significant trends in your farm business. Income statement is the measure of income and expenses in any given to length of time. This length is typically one year and may be the same as the tax year. Farmers that may not have an income statement usually rely on their Schedule F from their tax return. Since most farmers are on a cash basis for taxes, their Schedule F only shows the amount of cash sales less cash purchases, and an allowance for depreciation. Cash basis is good for providing flexibility in controlling the amount of taxable income in one year. However, the Schedule F is a poor tool to rely on to measure profitability. It may measure the amount of cash handled, but it gives no hint as to whether only a portion of a crop was sold, if all the bills were paid or previous year bills were paid this year, if all income earned was collected, etc. The lender may create an accrual adjusted income statement to use for the loan application. The accrual adjusted income statement combines the cash basis farm records with inventories from the beginning and ending corresponding balance sheets 
to give a true measure of profitability. Beginning and ending balance sheets list the inventories of assets and liabilities. The increases or decreases between these balance sheets will be calculated. What is the change in inventories, accounts receivable, accounts payable, prepaid expenses? This total inventory change is combined with net cash, farm income, which is income less expenses, to equal net operating profit. This is profit without any depreciation expense. The lender will add one more step by subtracting depreciation and other capital adjustments from net operating profit to calculate net farm income. This is the farm's profit or loss for that given time period. Net farm income is what is needed to provide for family living withdrawals, income tax obligations, and principal payments of term debts. If net farm income is not adequate, to cover all of these, the loan may not be approved. Without a good accrual adjusted income statement, how do you know if your business is profitable?